Hi friends, this is Dr. Komal and welcome to KC Science Talks. In this lecture, we will talk about how mitochondria evolved through endosymbiosis. We will start with the conditions on the primitive earth and will discuss the changes in the earth's atmosphere which led to the origin of mitochondria through endosymbiosis. So let's start the lecture. So let us start with conditions on the primitive earth. We all know that primitive earth's atmosphere was reducing. It had gases like methane, ammonia, hydrogen and water vapor and there was no oxygen present. So for the first 2 billion years of life on earth, anaerobes only existed which used glycolysis and fermentation to generate energy and both of these are oxygen independent processes. In about 2.7 billion years ago, cyanobacteria came into existence. These are cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria by the process of photosynthesis released oxygen in the earth's atmosphere and oxygen got built up in the earth's atmosphere and the conditions changed from anaerobic to aerobic. Because of photosynthesis by cyanobacteria, oxygen started building up in the earth's atmosphere. But do you know that molecular oxygen can be very toxic? How? Molecular oxygen forms free radicals such as superoxide radicals which are extremely reactive and react with biological molecules. So oxygen became a powerful agent of natural selection and it favored evolution of a species which can protect themselves from molecular oxygen and can also utilize this in metabolic pathways to a greater advantage. Because of oxygen dependent natural selection, evolution of first aerobes took place. From them, from these first aerobes, evolution of oxygen dependent prokaryotes and eukaryotes took place and how eukaryotes utilize oxygen to extract energy because they have an organelle called mitochondria which is also called the powerhouse of the cell. Now the question arises that how during the course of evolution mitochondria came into existence in a eukaryotic cell. This is explained by the theory of endosymbiosis. The theory states that some of today's eukaryotic organelles evolved by a symbiosis in which one species of a prokaryote was engulfed by a precursor eukaryotic cell. The engulfed prokaryote provided their hosts with certain advantages associated with special metabolic activities. Two key eukaryotic organelles which are believed to be evolved in this manner are mitochondria and chloroplasts. And here we will discuss about mitochondria. Mitochondria are thought to have originated from bacteria capable of carrying out oxidative metabolism. So this diagram represents theory of endosymbiosis. This is an ancestral eukaryotic cell with an internal membrane system and here this uh, ancestral eukaryotic cell is engulfing this aerobic bacterium and uh, which later on becomes mitochondria in a eukaryotic cell. So how incorporation of oxygen in their metabolism helped organisms? Because without oxygen, only limited amount of energy can be extracted from foodstuffs and energy rich products such as lactic acid and ethanol are excreted out. So this is a kind of wastage and we can say that metabolism is inefficient. While with oxygen, complete, complete oxidation of foodstuffs to CO2 and H2O can be achieved and this can generate a large amount of energy 
and this is a proper utilization and we can say that with oxygen the metabolism is efficient so now the lecture summary because of change in earth's atmosphere from anaerobic to aerobic mitochondria evolved through endosymbiosis for utilization of oxygen for energy production in eukaryotes so guys i hope you understood it very well and please like share subscribe and click the bell icon for further notifications